Hey everyone, this is Dr. Ezra with Integrative Kidney Solutions and today I'm going to be talking to you about the effect of aging on kidney health. So let's do this. In uh, 1950s, researchers looked at the uh, kidney function over uh, the age of uh, several uh, people and they calculated kidney uh, function uh, in several age groups and they found out that after age of 40 we lose about 8 to 10 percent of kidney function every 10 years. There are more recent studies that actually that found that this loss of kidney function start earlier actually in our 20s. So there is a, a professor that when I, when I was in a nephrology fellowship that used to say that if we all live long enough unfortunately we'll end up all on dialysis. Um, so this is uh, unfortunately is a fact of our daily modern life that as we age, uh, our kidneys also age and, and we lose kidney function with time. But I think that also our uh, exposure to a lot of uh, uh, inflammation, inflammatory uh, uh, food and uh, toxins are also making our kidneys age at a, ma at, uh, at a much faster rate than uh, uh, that was detected in the 1950s. And why does this happen? The reason why it happened, number one, as we age, the blood flow to the kidneys decrease. In fact, researchers found that as we age every 10 years, the, the blood flow to the kidneys decreased by 10%. So that's some, one major factor. Uh, the other uh, factor is that, you know, during the work uh, of the kidneys, some protein seeps into uh, the filtering unit uh, through the filtering units of the kidneys and these protein uh, lead to inflammation so inflammation is one of the major fact factor here uh, in fact uh, if you look at biopsies of uh, people who are at age of uh, 80 they found that 30 percent of their filtering units are almost too inflamed to be functional now, there's a third factor, uh, which is the activation of renin angiotensin system, uh, which uh, we talked about in previous videos and, and basically uh, lead to increased uh, pressure on the, on the nephrons and uh, loss of, uh, of uh, filtering uh, units. And then finally, uh, there is the nitric oxide uh, system and uh, nitric oxide help dilating the, the blood vessels of the kidneys. And uh, as we age, we lose our capacity to produce nitric oxide. And uh, there are ways we can combat uh, these age, this aging process. So what can we do to combat the uh, age-related uh, loss of kidney function? Number one is maintaining good hydration with uh, good filtered water intake to maintain good blood flow to the kidneys if you have no restrictions on uh, water intake, uh, especially if you have polycystic kidney disease, as we've seen in previous videos, we do recommend that you drink a lot of filtered water. Number two uh, is uh, there's these uh, medications called uh, angiotensin uh, uh, receptors blocker or uh, uh, you know uh, ACE inhibitors. Uh, you know if you don't have high blood pressure, you don't really need to take these medications, but uh, these have been linked to slow down the age-related kidney uh, uh, disease uh, progression. And uh, we, we're not going to deny the fact here, but bear in mind that these medications have side effects uh, and, and also uh, they affect many of the nutrients in our body, especially zinc. Um, and finally, uh, L-arginine intake has been linked to increasing the production of nitric oxide. So L-arginine uh, is a conditional amino acid and um, it is available in diet and, and we can find it in animal protein, uh, in fish, in, uh, in eggs, uh, in nuts in general, so walnut, hazelnut, peanut, almond, uh, cashew nut, and uh, Brazil nut. 
Also, many seeds have, um, you know, uh, arginine in it, and cacao also have arginine in it. Uh, so, we do recommend uh, you increase your dietary intake of arginine. Uh, be careful about what you also eat. So, some of these things that you we mentioned are not really recommended for kidney patients, uh, especially if you're on phosphorus restrictions. Uh, or um, you know your gut bacteria has issues with dysbiosis, or you have autoimmune disease that you may be limited on some, on some of what you eat. Um, so uh, sometimes it's important that you get ar uh, arginine through um, a good quality supplement. So we highlight that you want to make sure that you get a good quality supplement. So you want to aim to get about uh, four to five grams of uh, arginine a day. Uh, for more information, follow us on uh, Instagram at Integrative Kidney uh, or uh, at www.inkidney.com. Don't forget to sign up to our newsletter and follow us here on YouTube. If you like this video, make sure you leave a comment below and uh, make sure you give us your feedback. Thank you so much.